Welcome everyone. I am Jim Pearson, Dean of the College of Business here at Mr. Cordia University. And with me today is Ralph Capristo, a MBA, a MBA alumnus of Mr. Cordia University, a registered certified financial planner, and a partner in Forthright Wealth Planning. Uh, him and his two partners own three offices here in Northeastern PA. Ralph, welcome. Thank you, Jim. Ralph, as we launch our Certified Financial Planning Specialization, tell us, why do you like being a CFP? Jim, I like being a CFP because it's the highest standard in the industry. Being a CFP means that you've gone through the entire uh, designation process. It means that you're competent in all elements of the financial planning process. The elements of the financial planning process are insurance planning, investment planning, retirement planning, income tax planning and estate planning and various other subtopics within those competencies. It also means that you're held to a much higher standard, which I think gives you a lot more credibility with the public. What is the earnings potential for a CFP? Well, I think the earnings potential could potentially be unlimited, but according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average CFP designee earns between ninety-four dollars and $95,000 a year. That's going to depend on skill set. It's going to depend on whether you're self-employed you know, and completely independent, or if you work for a large corporation or a smaller business. How do you become a CFP? What is the process? And I hear folks talk about the four E's. Yeah, that's a really good question. So the four E's are education, exam, experience, and ethics. So the educational component is a two-part component. First, you have to hold a minimum of a bachelor's degree, and then you also have to go through and complete a CFP board approved financial planning course. And that's become a little bit easier because there's more in the distribution model now. You used to only be able to access those courses through five or 10 different universities, but that's beginning to change, and, and many other schools similar to Mr. Portia are beginning to offer that service, which I think is great. Uh, the second component is the exam. It's a one day, 170 question exam that occurs over two, three hour periods. Uh, the third E is the experience requirement. So in order to become a CFP, you have to have, uh, work at least 6,000 hours in the field of financial planning or related field, or work 4,000 hours as an apprentice to somebody that works as a CFP. And then there's the ethics requirement. It's, it's a requirement that the CFP board takes very seriously. You're held to a very high ethical standard, a fiduciary, uh, fiduciary standard, and you have to attest and sign off and be approved by the CFP board that you've met the ethics requirement and you need to do an attestation annually for that. Ralph, thank you so much for sharing that information. If you're interested in an exciting and rewarding career in certified financial planning, contact the Sequoia Commissions.